Everyone, welcome to the show. I have some updates to share about one of Trump's capital insurrectionists. It's time for an episode of Where Are They Now? Was arrested. Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. So the Oath Keeper seditious conspiracy trial is about to begin. It's going to start on September 26th, and there's been a flurry of activity in the case as both sides try to argue about what should or shouldn't be allowed as evidence. And one of the defendants is now trying to throw another January 6th defendant under the Trump train. Here's the deal. Oath Keepers member Kelly Meggs has been charged with a number of crimes in addition to conspiracy one of which is tampering with or destroying evidence. Very serious. Well, Meg's attorney, Julie Haller, ended up in a shouting match with the judge last week because Haller informed the judge that she might try to use the argument with the jury that Meg's only destroyed the evidence on the advice of counsel, meaning his attorney told him to do so, not her, another attorney. So Haller is alleging that Oath Keepers attorney, Kelly Sorrell, who I shared with you guys, was recently arrested. She was recently charged herself for January 6th. His new attorney is claiming that Sorrell told Meggs to destroy evidence on his phone. So U.S. District Judge Amit Mehta is presiding over this Oath Keepers seditious conspiracy case, and he wasn't happy with Haller. He shouted, quote, how is it today, 10 days before trial, I'm first being told you might advance an advice of counsel defense? So Judge Mehta is pissed because this was reported months ago that Sorrell allegedly told the Oath Keepers members to destroy evidence. This was in the news. He told Haller, quote, I read it in the newspaper months ago. Yet Meg's attorney never raised this as a defense and Meg's pleaded not guilty. So, you know, which is it? Did you destroy it and somebody told you to do it or did you not do it at all? Um, but Haller claims that she never heard, this is the new attorney, she never heard about these allegations against Sorrell until she was, until Sorrell was forced to testify before a grand jury, which was in June of this year. But Meta told her, quote, I'm not buying it. And quote, it was in the indictment. And so then Haller, the new attorney, yelled at the judge and said, quote, which indictment? The first, second, sixth? I mean, there have been a lot of indictments in this case. So the judge and Haller just kept yelling over each other. They kept cutting each other off. And then Judge Mehta told Haller to sit down and then she refused to comply. So this is going well. Um, so the following day, Judge Mehta issued an order and he stated, quote, any defendant who intends to assert an advice of counsel defense shall make such disclosure to the government by September 21. Uh, but like I said, this is off to a good start, right? Um, nothing like pissing off the judge before the trial has even begun. And I have another quick update to share about Megs. Evidently, on the night of the 2020 presidential election, Meg sent text messages to his wife and his son saying, quote, I'm going to go on a killing spree and quote, Pelosi first. Now, I think I mentioned that. I think I reported that to you guys when I reported on his arrest. Of course, the prosecutor wants these text messages allowed at the trial. They want the jury to be able to see them. But Meg's attorney argued that they're privileged communication from one spouse to another. But the prosecutor says, you know, no, the intent to commit a crime can't be protected under privileged communication rules. So we'll see what happens and if those text messages are included when the trial gets underway. But that's where it stands, guys. These people are all going to start throwing each other under the Trump train, pointing the finger. I mean, right on right violence. Anyway, <laughs> when I hear more, I'll let you know. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.